everybody welcome back to my channel can you guess where i am going so if you guys do not know you have to have a quarter to get your cart at aldi it's very interesting it's a very interesting system that they do and um you put your quarter in the cart it gives you a cart to use and then when you return your cart and you lock your cart in and your quarter pops back out so you just save your quarter for your Aldi trips and I just wanted to share that neat little tidbit about Aldi if you are new to it and you're going for your first time you'll need a quarter it is Wednesday so it's Aldi finds that's when they put them out so I'm so excited if you guys like videos like this don't forget to give it a thumbs up it helps me out and oh my gosh guys I just wanted to say I am so close to 1,000 subscribers and I want to say thank you so much just for the journey so far it's been so awesome and I am just like so thrilled and so thankful to all my subscribers if you are not subscribed to my channel I would love to have you stick around and become part of my YouTube family and I'm gonna drive to Aldi right now and go get my groceries and show you guys everything I picked out so I will see you guys when I get back. Okay guys, I am home from my Aldi haul and I am excited to show you guys everything I found today. So let's do this. All right, so I got some more brioche buns. I got these last time and I got Kirkwood chicken fillets and it makes such a good chicken sandwich. Oh my gosh, guys. Get yourself some of those plus the brioche buns. Yum. And then I also picked up some honey wheat. I get this every single week. I also got some more English muffins. Those are really good. My usual two cartons of eggs and I've been getting the cage free from Aldi. I also picked up some white New York sharp cheddar cheese. This is my favorite cheese at Aldi. I definitely recommend it. And under the cheese I have some Aldi premium sliced bacon, the hardwood smoked. And then I also got some smoked uncured ham and I've not tried out their uncured ham, so I'm looking forward to trying that out for sandwiches. And then I got some more of their organic milk. And then behind that is some of their really good pulp-free orange juice. And I picked up some more of these heat and serve sausages. These are just really nice to have for busy mornings. And then another one that I have been getting, I got some of this breaded butterfly shrimp. This is so good if you like breaded shrimp. I definitely recommend this. I got some fresh ground turkey. I got two pounds of that for taco night. And then also speaking of taco night, I got more of their mild fresh cut salsa. Guys, if you've not tried their fresh cut salsa, it's so good. Get yourself some of this. In my store, it is next to all the produce and the bean dips and guacamole and everything like that. So I definitely recommend that. And then I got some sour cream for taco night as well. And then I've been really liking their perfect bars and I'll, obviously these are not only at Aldi. And I just found these at Aldi a couple weeks back and I'm just in love with them. They're so good and I really enjoy the texture. They're just really high in protein and they're so good and they're like a refrigerated protein bar. So I definitely recommend those as well. And then underneath that I got some baby spinach and arugula. I really like that mix. And I got some avocados. Hopefully these are right by taco night. And then every week I get this. I get a cucumber because my girls just love cucumber. And then this week I got some asparagus because I'm going to be making either steak and asparagus or maybe chicken too. I don't know. I couldn't find good steak at Aldi this time around. And then I also got some peach o -ween. <laughs> I don't even know. Um, I got peaches and my girls are going to be so excited about that because they've been asking for those. And then I got some Campari tomatoes. I have not tried these yet. These are really cute. They're kind of like in between the size of a regular vine tomato and then like a grape tomato. They're kind of smaller. So got some garlic and then, oh my gosh guys. Okay, so last time I got my first carton of these. These are the cotton candy grapes 
And these literally taste like cotton candy. I don't understand. I thought they must have been injected with something, but they literally just say grapes as the ingredients. I have no clue how the heck these taste like cotton candy, but they do. I definitely recommend these, like, okay. <laughs> and then I got some pepperoni, some Cheez-Its just to have on hand. And back here, I got this last time and I tried it out. It's so good. This is their Simply Nature Instant Oatmeal Oats and Flax. And this is just really good for mornings where you need something quick. And I got some blue corn tortilla chips. And then back here, these are new to me. Um, I'm, they might have been there before, but I just got these instead of like wheat thins. We want to make like homemade Lunchables for the girls or if we just want some crackers with tuna. Those just looked really good. And then I got my girls these. These are the mini peanut butter sandwich crackers. And then I got some chili. And I needed some evaporated milk for a recipe coming up. It's this chicken called like mom's best chicken or something like that. I am doing what's for dinner, so that will most likely be in one of those. So stay tuned for that. And if you're not subscribed, Hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on my what's for dinner videos as well. And then I got some queso just to have on hand. And then for taco night, I got some refried beans. The Aldi refried beans are really good. And then I got some Aldi taco shells. These are really good, guys. These are better to me than average like taco shells at the grocery store. They're just more crispy and crunchy and I really enjoy those. And then I picked up some spices. I got some minced onion and some Italian seasoning. And then two taco seasoning mixes just for taco night for the two pounds of ground turkey. And then let me go over here before I show you the fun stuff. And then I also found this Tyson All Natural Thin Slice Boneless Skinless Chicken Breast. I thought that would be really nice to have just because it's already thin. I just thought that'd be nice. This is frozen. And then I also got some chicken thighs. These are really good. I definitely recommend those. And then I found, these are an Aldi find this week, and these look so bomb. These are roasted and seasoned petite potatoes, and these will just be a really good side to have in the freezer. These are frozen. I've never seen like whole potatoes like this, like frozen. I don't know, these just look so good. And I got two of those because that's such a nice side dish to have on hand. And I got some crinkle cut fries. Okay, now I'm gonna go over some fun Aldi finds. And I already, me and my husband, we already tried these out because they sounded so interesting. These are the crinkle cut Moscow Mule flavored kettle chips. <laughs> I just like to try out fun flavors of potato chips. And these were definitely different. Um, obviously, if you know like what a Moscow Mule tastes like, these taste like one. Um, they have like the lime taste plus the sweet ginger flavor. And they're pretty good though. And these would be really good with like onion dip. So I definitely recommend those if you're into crazy flavored potato chips. And then Aldi had some Christmas stuff out today. And these are the cupcake liners and they're so cute. They have little Christmas trees and little red trucks. I just thought those would be fun to pick up. They were getting sold out like super fast. So I just grabbed one, they're like 90 cents. And then these have been in my hauls before one other time. And these are really good. They're just like their s'mores creams and they're just like an Oreo type cookie. And actually, you know what? They don't taste like s'mores to me. I think they could have had more of a marshmallow flavor, but they're a really good like Oreo tasting cookie. So I definitely recommend those. And then I picked up some red wine for this weekend. I got the Crestwood Barrel Cabernet Sauvignon. And this is from the Columbia Valley in Washington. Yeah, this looked really good. I don't like a sweet wine. I like a drier wine. So I'm looking forward to trying this out. And then this looks so good, guys. This is the Belmont Cheesecake Fall Sampler. Oh my gosh, I love cheesecake. So excited about this. And these were going fast. There was only probably like 10 left or less. And I'm pretty sure this is an Aldi find this week. So it might not be there next week. So if you see them, if you want one, throw it in your freezer. These are frozen. So there are four premium cheesecakes, pumpkin swirl, s'mores, caramel apple, and maple flavored pumpkin pecan. Oh my gosh, that sounds so good. 
I thought that'd be really good with some red wine this weekend. I also got some slippers. These were in Aldi Fine this week, and these are so cute. I got these for myself because I needed some new ones. And these were a decent price, and they look pretty nice. I mean, I hope they fit me. They're like the 7 8 size, and <laughs> they're just fun. So I thought I would get myself some slippers for the winter. I live in Virginia where it gets super cold and these look all fluffy and cozy. I just thought they were so cute and they're in like one of my favorite colors which is like that dusty vintage pink. And then I picked myself up some of these cooling racks. It's like a three tier pack and it was such a good price. I only have one cooling rack and it's so pathetic because I bake and cook all the time and I need cooling racks so I don't know how I've like survived for this long with only one but anyways I got myself three today and they look really nice and they're only $6.99 so what a steal and then I also picked up my daughter's some of these slippers all these slippers were like Aldi finds this week and I got the Paw Patrol for one of them and the little Minnie Mouse one for the other I just thought those were so cute they're like little slipper socks with the little Sherpa lining and then guys Last but not least, I got my sweet little dog a fall sweater. I could not pass these up because these were like an Aldi find. So they will be here this week and most likely not next week. And um, I just thought this pattern was adorable and super vintage and cute. And I'm totally going to try this on him and I will show you guys after I end this video. That's what's going to be at the end. So stick around for that. Anyways guys, I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching another video of mine. I can't believe I am almost to 1,000 subscribers. If you guys liked this video, don't forget to give it a like. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do. I'd love to have you around as part of my YouTube family. And I hope you guys are having a super awesome day or evening or whatever it is when you're watching this. And I will see you guys next time. Bye guys. Do you have a cute little fall sweater on, sweetheart? There. Hi, buddy. Come here. I got a, I got a treat. Sit. Sit. Good boy. Isn't that so cute, guys? You've got to get your dog one. If you can find them, I'm sure there's a ton when I went. And this is the small. My dog is about 18 pounds or so, and he's like a big Pomeranian. All right, guys, see you later.